Dun, ba, dun. Ooh. The wilderness makes my balls swell. No, 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 no. Sob, sob. I cry. Sob. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to Series 6, Episode 6. This is the last episode of this series. Um, I hope you enjoy what you see. So we're going to start here at West Drags. Lovely little PK spot this. Um, mainly because most of the guys here are my combat level. Um, from those who kill the dragons, as well as the guys that hunt the people killing the dragons, like me. So you'll see quite a few West clips here. Um, this guy, just out of the security stronghold with his beautiful little coloured boots. Unfortunately, they're not tradable, and therefore I will never ever get a pair. But, um, yep, start blowpiping him. He puts up prey range. Automatically go to the DDS, and get a nice little hit. 8 HP left, and get the KO. Um, I do feel bad killing these guys, because, you know, look at him. He had trout, bless him. But, uh, got a rune skin, which is great for free to play, and also got an anti fire potion, which is good for Kingback Dragon. Now, same again, guy in rune, killing the dragons. Um, start DDSing him. He's like, dude, please. Please off me, man. And, nah. The amount of times I've had to, like, explain myself in these situations. It's the fucking wilderness. You've walked in. You're gonna either get attacked or die. So, get used to it. Um, get, get a bind just in time. Only level 5 wieldy here. So, he had to go down to level 2 to, get, to escape. Wasn't that far away. And especially the fact that he was eating pretty hard. And then the poison hit him. Carry on blowpiping in, went for the D-long, missed him, turned around with the K-bow, and <laughs> boom. Good night, man. Fuck you, he says. <laughs> Good times, got his glory, got his rune boots, and got a rune crossbow. So, again, nice little KO, um, and sorry for killing you, even though you said fuck off. So, again, back at the uh, the West Dragons, this guy had D-med this time. I was like, hey, mate. Sorry, look at that lovely D-Med, but I didn't get the uh, didn't get that as a drop, but I did get his rune plates. The reason I'm showing all these clips is because it does add up, and if you see my bank video, you'll see why I collect those. So a guy there drops an AGS spec, but I'm not after him or his AGS. I'm after the more important things, which are the sharks, which some of you guys are wondering how I get, um, which is fair play, I don't often show these clips. But Edgeville looting is the best way for me to get sharks, along with PKs. Um, so yeah, either loot them, or take players by surprise. Now I dressed up as a noob on purpose. Um, and this ranger suddenly became my target. Yeah. So she started attacking me, thinking that I was no no trouble at all. Little did she know I had a gmall, sneaky gmall waiting. Um, so before she could even get a spec in, pulled it out. 30, bang, bang, bang. See you later. 3119, that is an 80. Um... Maximum hit there for me. Well, not maximum hit, but that's the most I've ever hit so far. And as you see, loads of sharks, loads of Karen Browns, um, two mysterious emblems, glory. Pretty sure a rune crossbow in there, DDS. And yeah, all in all, that is a great way to uh, get sharks. So I decided to do it again. Um, obviously, you need sharks to tank the first few hits, but then you got to unleash that spit, unleash that spec when they uh, least expect it. So you could sort of tell that this guy. You know, he's thinking, what an easy kill, this guy is going down. Um, I didn't want to pull out my blowpipe because then he'd, then he'd expect something like a big G-Maul to the face. So I kept it at the rune skin. Um, pulled out a G-Maul, he went for his G-Maul, but he was too slow and got the kill. He was like, lol. Um, so again, another great inventory, full of food. Um, Karen Barnes, potions, even a G-Maul, mysterious emblem, dragony bolts, um, you name it. Pretty happy with that. Stamina potion as well. So yeah. Um, beware those at Bounty Hunter. That sort of thing does happen. Um, I then went and found some pot and some empty beer glasses uh, in the wilderness. So I immediately assumed it was this guy here. Um, Ted. Ted Wood. I was like, are you a drug lord? And he, he wasn't that sure. He was like, I don't know. I don't know if I am. 
So um, I went and told him about it, and he said pretty much yes. So yeah, he's a drug lord from cannabis. Um, talking about drug lords, this guy's called I Am Stoned, with a Saradoman tear, sorrow, dormant, dormant sword thing, um, which is basically an upgrade, and it hits beautifully. As you got, as you guys can see, I got pretty, uh, pretty stumped there. And again, I went back, but uh, he asked for a rematch, so I gave it to him. Um, he was still comboing the shit out of me. I was hitting some 30s with my rune two hand, and he he didn't know how to gmall. So what I did was actually push uh, slightly east to pretend to sort of run away. Um, I think he does. Yeah, you know, I think he does see my gmall now. I'm a bit of an idiot and pull it out. Anyway, as I run east, he thinks I'm trying to escape and pull out the gmall when he's not not expecting it. 19 and I think double eights there. Got the KO. Unfortunately, no Saradoma sword. Well. Uh, a good amount of sharks, so I was all ready to go and do some bossing and some PVMing. So I decided to do a boss that I haven't done for a while, which is Scorpia. And you need to mage it, there's no other way of killing it really, unless you sit there with a crossbow for ages, but it's really weak to mage. Um, and I was using Saradome and Strike, seeing it's the best mage weapon I've got, and like best best mage attack, should I say. Um, you've got to kill kill the guardians before they start healing the boss, and then once you kill those, you can go back to the boss and start killing it. 20, 27 HP left, and I got the KO. And oh no, I'm yeah, 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 dead now. Didn't get anything. Didn't get a fucking anything. So someone must have done like more damage, or I just got unlucky. I didn't get a drop. Second drop, 2.7k cash. Um, and then finally third kill. Go and get a shark. So yeah, all in all, not a really big fan of the Scorpio boss unless I've got Trident and like Blitz and stuff. It's it's not really worth it for me. So I went to the Kelselli and four HP'd, but I survived. Got 7.5k drop as the 131st kill. Um, I did miss the second kill for some reason, like the next kill, but I got the uh, the one afterwards on vid. Got some herb drops. Then kill 134, too far for the key. 135, got some strange fruit, and 136, get a ruby, I just saw red and thought, fuck, is that like a dragon medal or something? So then I was playing the trick of trying to pretend to home telly uh, in order for someone to skull, but as I did that, a pure actually logged in, and I started attacking him instead. This guy was using Zami Flames, which, let's be honest, it's only really good against like bots or guys in rune armor. Um, but he, was, he wasn't bad, I'll give it to him, he, he was quite a lot lower combat than me, so props for standing and fighting. Um, as he went for the G-Mall, I got the, the magic bind there in time, he would have absolutely slaughtered me then. But I got the bind in, and then ranged him to death, he was like, would have got you. And you were very right mate, I had 18 HP or something. So I, I was a goner. But I got his G-Mall as well, his staff protects over his mall, so that's nice. And some other shit on him. Um, happy days. So then I was at mid drags and I ran to this guy in full rune and he was scold. All I can imagine was he's been attacking bots or something. Because um, he hasn't really got amazing PK gear on. Mind you, he hasn't even got an anti drag shield, so maybe he wasn't. I don't know. We started laughing and saying a team's coming. Which I uh, immediately replied. I was like, good. I need someone to fight. <laughs> Pretty much. It was all a bit dead that evening. But I did find this guy. And as he started running, his mate was like, go north, help me, help me. I mean, I can help go north. Um, so what I had to do was make sure that I got the kill before he could go north and get help from that uh, Zerka guy. So I ran in with the G-Mall, went for the spec, but didn't even need it, hit a 31, left, right, good night, and pretty much smited him for everything he had. Uh, so, what do you have, a drag skin, glory, rune full helm, DDS, rune legs, rune plate, um, the whole shebang. So as I was stood here looting away, um, he did say that his team was coming or something, so maybe he was on a team speak or something. I'm not sure what team speak it would be. It's not really a pure clan or anything. But um, yeah, I was just eating some sharks because it's certainly worth doing just to uh, loot the rune, even though sharks are valuable to me. Um, as you see, I dropped my games net list, and then on the mini map, some guy logs in, and I'm like, shit, better get out of there. <laughs> so I got the combat bracelet and then logged out before the guy with the curls bow could attack me. And then same again, about half an hour later, another guy scold and full rune. I was like, well, what's going on here? Um, so I made sure I got the TB in then, so he couldn't teleport. Actually splashed then, had to go in for the second TB. Um, which eventually hit him. 
and start arranging them with my blowpipe, which is pretty effective. And it also does a poison, you'll see in a minute, it's really useful. The poison goes from 6 damage all the way up to 20 damage if you don't anti-venom. Um, and there you see it hitting a 10 and a 19 for the KO. Good fight, man. And this time, no team on login to attack me. So I was able to loot all that rune, Zerka Helm, Combat Bracelet, and Glory, DDS. Um, I was on a bit of a killing spree, actually. I was doing well. I hadn't died for a while. Um, and, yeah, this guy ran away, went in for the DDS, and he didn't protect, uh, change to protect melee, so I got the nice 25-18 KO. And dropped him to the floor. And a nice PK because I got some more Zami robes. I think that's about four pairs now. So that's really useful. Um, as you guys can tell. Then a bit later on, uh, another guy here at West Drags. Um, I've got a feeling I said that this was East a minute ago, but whatever. Uh, yeah, he had smites up, which is kind of cool. I do enjoy fighting people with just smites up, no overheads. Mainly because I haven't got the mage, well, I haven't got desert treasure. So my uh, mage attacks don't hit, like obviously, so I can only range in melee, which is a bit uh, unfair. But anyway, again, I pretend to sort of run away, go in with the DDS, and luckily my poison hits, and I got the KO, which was pretty lucky because it was a close fight. Um, I'm now out of prayer, as in prayer pots. I've got a bit of prayer points left. This guy started attacking me, and I just had to make sure my prayer didn't drop, so I had to go back and loot some prayer pots, keep that up, while I was doing some damage on him to make him eat. And he started ranging me, but I was like, fuck him. So I put it up. Um, he was using a magic short bow eye where he can double spec pretty quick in quick succession. Um, looted up the, uh, the DDS there, 21 dragon e bolts, went in with the my DDS, hit pretty high then, and unfortunately got like stuck behind a tree or something. And he ended up running south, but I was able to go back and finish off looting, get the glory, get some more runes, and my rune crossbow. Um, while well, the bot was trying to loot as well, but yeah, it was nice to chase that guy off, especially whilst I was trying to loot, um, but yeah. And again, actually no, this is at Graveyards, I ran into this guy, well he actually ran into me, um, I was waiting for him to skull because I could obviously tell he was going to attack me. He put up Protect Mage, so I uh, probably just started overheading each other, which basically means Putting up whatever attack style they're using, so here I put on mage, and then sort of wait for him to go back to range, and then I'm getting slightly better better at doing this, especially with hotkeys, it's much easier. Once you get to learn how to use hotkeys, it's really useful. Um, I put on protect melee, just so I can go in with the DDS and not worry about my HP, go in for the third spec, or that second spec, and get the kill. Uh, somehow managed to smite his ancient staff. So I got his ancient staff, got his DDS, um, and of course all the runes that he had on him. So, another, another nice little KO there. Um, chin up, bye. Oh, I've got some Sorrow Bruise as well. Pretty cool. I was punching the Chaos Ellie and got a Dragon Dagger. Kind of cool, 137th kill. Then 138th kill, go and get Weapon Poison. It's quite funny how those two always come quite close to each other. Um, so I put Poison on the Dagger, and that's Dagger number 31 now, I think. Fletching level 71, just been fletching some U-Logs. Um, as you see, I've only got 162 left. I did have about 1k when I started fletching the other day. Um, so it was time to make a few dragony bolts. I've never actually done this on an, on an account before. So it was kind of cool. Um, as you see, if I was a bit new. <laughs> There's quite a few warning signs as to whether I wanted to chisel my dragon stones. Um, how can you accidentally use a chisel on a dragon stone? I'm not sure. But yeah, got my rune bolts there and made them into dragon bolts. Um, really cool achievement, this actually. Not that I use Dragon Bolts much, but I think with about 400 in my bank, I may start to. Uh, then had to enchant them, obviously. And somewhere, don't ask me how or where, but I've got seven or eight soul runes in my bank. It's not the uh, type of rune you PK a lot of. I think it must have been literally in one of the first few episodes. Maybe at a rune ward, did I lose it on vid? I can't remember. But um, it was enough to enchant a few bolts at least. Um, otherwise, I have to kill Corp for soul runes. That's the only other way in the world to get them, I think. Um, or kill guys trying to telly other splashes or that sort of thing but anyway um i was at the chaos Ellie and a little genie mr genie calling me master world dependent i do like that um so i managed to get some agility xp 50 at a time now it's always 10 percent of your level um sorry times 10 of your level so if you're level 5 it's 50 xp um so that's cool only two more and level six and then back here at west like i did say earlier there will be quite a few west clips here um 
and he had a Gmail, but so did I, and I popped mine out before he could 4HP'd him, and I was just camping the Gmail. Uh, he did something quite smart here. I was frozen, so he had to, well, he just walked underneath me, and as we were attacking each other, he could sort of hide w what attack he was using, which again was quite clever. Um, but he was clearly out of food, because here he doesn't eat, goes for the Gmail spec. Um, unfortunately for him, he didn't get anything worthy of killing me, and I stepped in there with the Gmail and the poison hit to get his mall and glory, and some more dragony bolts and that sort of thing. Oh, there's only two, but yeah. Um, not a bad PK, if you are asking me. Now the next one, again, at West Drags. And I saw these guys earlier, but I didn't get anything on vid. Um, I think I just logged out because I wasn't up for a 2v1. But then it all went a bit quiet, so I was like, fuck it, let's go. So I TB'd this guy. I knew his little boyfriend was going to log in north. And as you see here, he does. So, just start fighting them. And as you can expect, they're going to both be tagging me. Um, one's got barrage. The one with the ghostly robes is actually more powerful, hence why the guy in Zamak robes hardly hits me at all. Um, he'll PJ and then he'll get off. But my poison was doing damage on the guy in Zami robes, and I was actually dealing a bit of damage on this guy as well, seeing as it was 2v1. It should have always been them coming out on top. But uh, step in here with my DDS, get a nice hit, he protects to melee, um, going for the blowpipe, 12 HP him, and he starts running. And like I said earlier, as you can guess, this guy was going to PJ. Now look in the minimap, his buddy uh, actually decides, yeah, fuck those boys, I'm out. Um, and he logs out. And this guy, there was obviously on TeamSpeak saying, yeah, get out of there, get out of there, man. So um, he does the right thing, he runs into Dark Wizards. And here, I can't attack him, because obviously I'm under attack by the Dark Wizards, which are aggressive. But what he stupidly did was carry on run south. And as he was about five steps from getting away, I managed to get that all-important bind in. And he was completely out of food, and the poison actually kills him eventually. No Cabo, but I did get his D-skin, which he didn't even use on me, as well as some other shit like DDS, Glory, Zami Robes, and the like. So, pretty pretty chuffed with that, getting a 2v1 and coming out on top of it. So, cool. Um, and then this guy, he was a bit pissed um, that I was attacking him, but he eventually got to the level where I couldn't attack him anymore, but my blowpipe had poisoned him. So I ran down just, just to check it wasn't, you know, stacking up and going to kill him. As you see here, he's like, you bitch, calls me a bitch, and then as he starts running off, he gets hit at 10, and I don't know what, what happened, but I can't run over the, the ditch, as you know, to go and check if he died or not. He didn't teleport out, so he's just, he just must have ran away and maybe died, maybe didn't, I don't know. Um, then a little bit later, I was actually in the same place, and I ran into this guy, who stupidly thought he could outrun me, but I got my entangle in and started killing them. He's called C10 by. <clears throat> Something like prayer flick me, it's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, I started blowpiping him and getting the bind ready for when he starts running. You've got to wait two ticks or whatever it is, then get the, get the bind. Um, and then start ranging him, step in with my Gmall and get the KO. Check out the loot, boys. Check out the loot. Alcoholic, you are a fucking alcoholic. I'm like fucking alky. Um, so yeah, other than that, it had a Mystic Air staff, I wasn't sure how much they were worth, so I had a little check on the uh, Grand Exchange price, price checker, about 35k, nothing to write home about. <laughs> then I went to the Wilderness Resource Area, and it was time to make some Games Necklaces and Rings of Recoil for next week, and the week after, and the week after that. Um, as you guys can probably, well you guys can just go to the Grand Exchange and buy your recoils and stuff, I have to make them. Um, as do all the Iron Men who play this game as well, so I'm not the only one. But uh, yeah, it does take a lot of, lot of time and it's quite a lot of behind the scenes sort of stuff. But I thought I'd, I'd give you a little insight to how I'd do it. Um, go to the Wilderness Resource Area and I actually make them into bars and then, then note them. I fucked up earlier and just noted the ore, but yeah, make them into bars. And once I had enough, I had about, what's that, 60 there? I can't actually see, it's such a small screen. But yeah, um, was was able to bank those. I also got 100 gold ore from the Kingback Dragon, so that's, I got about 180 gold ores, um, 62 mining there. Whilst I was there, I thought I'd get the last 2k and get my mining level up. But yeah, like I said, I had these gold ore. If you remember me getting 100 from Kingback Dragon, um, just super heating those. Nice bit of smithing XP, as well as obviously 
bit of a time saver. I don't have to run to the um, furnace in order to make the gold bars. I can just stand a bank. Um, and just as I made my 210 gold bars, I decided to get my smithing level up because it was so close and just superheat a few myth bars. 56 mything, happy days. Um, now the place that I normally uh, make my rings and necklaces and amulets and shit is here. Just use the uh, corp telly down and then stand above the furnace and that way spiders sh shouldn't like PJ you. Oh look, it's Rambo coming for a, another end of the episode clip. But yeah, headed back to Mage Bank and bank the recoils. Um, and obviously had to enchant them or whatever the word is for it. So um, yeah, that's it for this episode I'm afraid guys. And it's really annoying when I set the bar so high from like PKing blowpipes and stuff and whips and then I deliver a whole week of me PKing and nothing really comes from it. It's a bit bit disheartening, but um, that's just the way it goes. And um, there will be a one week gap because at the end of each series I like to have a little bit of time off. I've got to fix my car, got an MOT tomorrow and then I've got two days to sort it before I run out of MOT. Um, and yeah, I've got some other shit to sort out. So thank you very much for watching my series again. And um, yeah, look forward to the next one in two weeks time when we start series seven. Um, enjoy the cliffhanger. Cheers.